Hello everybody, this is Drew Thomas here, and today I'm going to be giving my review of the new electric train named Mary Meacham here at the St. Louis Zeus Emerson Zoo Line Railroad. <clears throat> now, if you haven't seen the recent Drew Thomas Friends episode, feel free to check that out before you watch this, but without further ado, here we go. So, this is my review of the train itself. Let me tell you, the train looks beautiful, let me tell you. Like, it looks fully refurbished, and they painted it very well. It feels like, well, a new train, because, well, that's what it is. It feels just like new. It's just such an amazing looking train. And now let's talk about the experience of riding this train. Now, you see, unlike the other St. Louis Zoo trains, this train is electric. And while the power also goes into the wheels, I'm pretty sure because, well, the wheels look different from the gasoline-powered engines. And obviously the whistle is not air-compressed like the gasoline-powered engines. And it's, well, just an automatic whistle with a fake whistle on top with a pre-recorded train whistle and chuffering noises or chugging noises. And I like the chugging noises and the whistle sound, but, well, I mean, what was wrong with the air-compressed whistles? I mean, I'm pretty sure Chance has some um, air-compressed air electric trains that have the air-compressed whistles, but why not use one of those here at the Emerson Zoo Line Railroad? Because, I mean, if there's one thing children love to do on the train, it's, well, blow the whistle. Or have the opportunity to blow the whistle and to pull that cord and let the whistle scream. However, now because of the new whistle, children can't really do that. So they have to press a button or turn a knob or something. Which is just as good as well pulling the cord, but the real the real experience comes from pulling the cord. And then let's talk about the speed. This is the slowest Steven from king of the railway this train runs at a snail's pace i mean yes it's a great way to see around the zoo however it goes pretty slow and it doesn't go as fast as the gasoline powered engines in fact it's actually now the slowest train of the fleet and while they also have updated on the uh nameplate it's it's not like the font of the st louis zoo logo and it's different probably because it's the the new train and so they decided to give it a fancy nameplate i don't know if they're gonna add a different nameplate or if it's gonna be the same nameplate every time but well yeah i've also been receiving news that the st louis zoo will eventually um reverts to electricity but that will be well that won't be for like another 30 years as far as I'm concerned, they're still going to use the gasoline-powered trains. However, however, as soon as one dies and they have enough money, they're going to replace it with an electric one. And they probably keep the gasoline-powered ones for, like, spare engines. Like Emerson and Daniel Boone. Because, well, the new train Mary Meacham put um, Emerson out of commission pretty much. To where now she's going to be used as a spare engine. However, this engine is like the only Zuline engine to be named after a female. Emerson, I decided to make a female because it sounds like Emery or Emily or Emmy. So that's why I decided to call her. So that's why I decided to have Emerson be a girl. And then also I wanted to give my sister a role. And I wanted to have more female characters in Drew Thomas. In case you're wondering, Molly McGee will not be one of them. I mean, the Tom's Express 3 is probably just going to be her only appearance. That is if I decide to change it, which I'm still not sure of. But anyway, um, I, so if you ever come to the St. Louis Zoo and if you want a fast-paced train, I recommend just, you know, hoping to get a gasoline power train. But if you'd like to just go slow and enjoy the view, then Mary Meacham is the train for you. I've also noticed that they've updated the flags with red flags instead of the Missouri Seal flags. I'm wondering why. If anyone has an explanation on why they did that, please let me know in the comments. 
But anyway, that this this has been my review of Mary Meacham, which is engine number 50 on the Emerson Zooline Railroad. Now they have the engines in number order instead of just Emerson being w number 100. By the way, this is a very nice train, though. I really do like it. So if you're ever at the St. Louis Zoo, spending the 60th anniversary that's coming up this year, then I highly recommend checking out Mary Meacham. Don't worry, she is not a brat in real life. In fact, she doesn't even talk like in Drew Thomas and Friends, but yeah. Anyway, so subscribe to Drew Thomas for more train ride videos and rail fan videos. If you wish to see a full train ride on the Emerson Zooline Railroad without commentary, let me know in the comments and I should, and I shall video one when I go for the anniversary of Drew Thomas movie. But anyway, this is Drew Thomas signing off. Good night and pickle suck.